Alpha 2 is that one thing that we have all been waiting for in Ashes of Creation's development since, well, the end of Alpha 1. And many of us have had many predictions on when we could expect it, including myself. For those of you who follow the channel, you would know that I was honestly expecting an Alpha 2 announcement way back in December, and we didn't really get any announcement in December, which was pretty disappointing. Not only did we not get an announcement, but as far as most of us know, bot testing hasn't even started up again. Even though in October, Steven Shreve said it would be starting up in the next few months. Now, this doesn't mean it hasn't yet because it could be under NDA to a very few select people, but it hasn't been opened up to the broader Alpha 1 testing group, making it almost a year and a half since any of us Alpha 1 testers have been able to play the game. I am clinging on to hope that it was delayed due to the Unreal Engine 5.1 being pushed out, which should have been completed this month based on Steven's timeline for it, which would give me a bit of hope that that maybe in the next couple months we will finally hear something but keep in mind there is still a lot we haven't seen we have seen the class kits for the tanks cleric and ranger around level 15 where the max level in alpha 2 is going to be level 35 so we're missing about 20 levels worth of content and abilities we have seen no dungeons or raid bosses with engaging mechanics which we know is coming up in the next few months with the tower of carfin and the cyclops world boss we haven't seen any updated nodes which last april they were working on making the layouts unique and feel different in every node we know the node superpowers for each type have been established and they were in the the testing phase last summer. Otherwise, we have seen nothing around them. We got a glimpse of UI last month, but we have seen no NPCs or populated world to make it feel like it's really coming together. We have seen no zones besides a riverlands and a trailer for the desert, and we have seen no naval content, which is such a huge part of the game that the world map expanded to add more of a water region for players to sail around in. And we really have no idea how far along that is. They haven't really talked about it much. They haven't shown us anything besides a boat sailing around the Riverland, no gameplay, nothing. So as far as we know, that could not be showcased at all even this year. And that's not even all of it. There is a lot more content that is supposed to be in Alpha 2 that we have not seen anything on yet. But the lack of all of this content does not mean that it is not done or in a playable state. I don't expect to see every single detail of every system before Alpha 2. I honestly don't even expect to see every system at the start of Alpha 2. As I've said, I want Ashes of Creation to have a more focused testing phase with Alpha 2, meaning that they turn on certain content within the world, get the majority of testers in on it, then turn it off and turn on something else when they are ready to move on, giving bits and pieces of the experience and really keeping the content fresh, along with getting very specific feedback on the features that they want to test. This would be absolutely crucial with Alpha 2 since there is no NDA and it's persistent testing. You don't want the viewers or the player getting bored because you need to maintain a certain level of testers to get the most accurate feedback. But with that being said, the hype is building and there are over 100,000 Alpha 2 testers already in the game and this game is going to spread like wildfire in terms of people discovering it and watching it when Alpha 2 finally launches. You aren't going to want to have an unfinished product out there, but I think we are getting close. Steven said early last year that when the showcases start ramping up, we know that Alpha 2 is close. We know that once spot testing starts, the next phase from this would be Alpha 2 and the showcases have been going hard since the character creator and spot testing is somewhere very soon on the horizon. There is enough in place to get started I think. The UI is starting to get fleshed out, we have the tank, DPS and heals, the holy trinity coming together, and we have seen more classes than we were even able to test in Alpha 1. And again, not every class needs to be playable right from the start. Let's test a few at a time before we start throwing more in. I personally always thought the dungeon gameplay would kind of be the finale of everything that Steven has been showing us class wise in the last year because it really shows everything that intrepid has been building up to with the combat revamp the cleric the ranger the tank showcase and tying them all together in a finale of sorts really showing how far they have come along with that seeing a dungeon in the next two months would be huge as well especially if it's a full group with no cheats and functioning boss mechanics showing us how engaging and challenging intrepid is planning to make these fights they can tell us that they will be challenging as much as they want but until something is shown to us it's just taking their 
their word for it and seeing it will be a whole new level. So ultimately, we have enough in place to start testing, especially if Intrepid plans to do focus testing. Do I think we will see it announced in the next week or month though? Probably not. At the earliest, I think we would see an announcement at the end of spring or beginning of summer with actual testing in mid-summer. Intrepid is going to continue rolling out the reveals in the next few months, gathering feedback on them and iterating as they have, and I'm very hopeful that we will be playing Ashes of Creation in 2023. But there are two things you should really keep an eye out for. The first is a node showcase, because nodes are what tie everything together, and you know that when these are shown in a fairly complete state, we are close to stepping foot through the Divine Gateways once again. And if we don't see any sign of nodes before summer, well then I'm probably too hopeful on this prediction, and we probably won't see Alpha 2 until fall or winter. The second thing is the content creator program, which is still open, but Margaret has said several times now that when we get close to Alpha 2, they will be closing the application phase, which I imagine would be even before an Alpha 2 announcement. With Alpha 2 comes a whole new wave of players wanting to jump into the game, along with new content creators causing much more work for the community team that they probably would not want to have to dive into right before the biggest testing event for this game. So when the application phase finally closes, you know we are close. What are your thoughts on when we can see Alpha 2? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until we can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.